Hey, it's me, Gazbot, and it's day 77. I have to go to a character job sort of soon, and I don't want to. And violin! It's party mode! Activated on my way to character gig, it's up in Oakland, which last night said it was about a 25 minute drive, but now that there's traffic, it's closer to 50. I'm on my way. Look at that view. Even here in Oakland, there's like awesomeness. I guess that's the city. I'm at my caricature job, uh, a little more than two hours in. I'm with another dude, uh, and I'm taking a break first, which is nice. They supplied me with free water and Powerade, but I needed to go to the bathroom and get more bags from my car. Uh, yeah, I'm amazed I was able to record anything. It's been crazy busy. Hey, how about all that footage from the uh, job I did? Not much at all, I realized. It was about 9.40. Uh, the job ended at 6, and then I got some food with the guy I was doing the job with. Hour home, picked up some food for Q. I basically got home, uh, watched TV with her while she ate dinner, and then now we're here. Um, I'm really tired. More tired than I should be. I didn't get up excessively early, and I feel like the way I felt after the end of the Comic-Con. Now, maybe it's because last weekend was so much running around that even a regular busy day today has knocked me out. But I'm, like, struggling to make myself do the 30 minutes. I just want to lay on the floor for a while, which is what I'm going to do in a minute. But then I'll get back up and then do my 30 minutes on the Horror 4. Uh, the job today was about four hours, which is, you know, on the upper limit of what I normally do. I'll do more, but then I need you know, break times and things like that. Uh, it was outside, which I'm never a fan of, but they had an over, uh, like a tent overhang thing to protect us from the sun, but as the sun shifted, it started getting on us. Now, I did put on some sunscreen and stuff, but just, I don't know, maybe that's part of what wore me out, that I was, like, in the sun. And it wasn't, uh, it was, it wasn't a terrible job. I've been to terrible jobs, uh, but it wasn't a great job either. It was good, Aaron, come on. It was good in terms of the amount of time and, and money and the guy I worked with nice and blah, 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 blah. But there was definitely more incidents that I would like of kids standing too close to me. A lot of times, like, kids will want to watch, adults too, but kids have this tendency to kind of like hang on you or put their hands on the back of my chair so that when I lean back, I'm crushing their fingers, which is no good for anybody, or they'll be watching and I'll like bump them with my elbow. So I, many, many times, it'd be like, guys, can you just back up, guy? can you, can you, and it's kind of claustrophobic and it's like, I don't mind people watching. I really don't, I don't care if there's a thousand people watching, but I need like this much room. And several times I didn't have that much room, and that kind of bugs me. Or they'll be like leaning on the table, like my subject is here, I'm here, and they'll lean on the table and kind of like lean like this, either with them or with me. It's like, what are you doing leaning on the table in between? You know, somebody else was trying to take pictures. They kept taking pictures of what I was drawing in the middle of drawing and then showing to the person I was drawing, like, look, he just did your eye. Uh, uh. And he was doing this, and it was annoying, and the person didn't want to see it either. They're like, stop. And, but then they literally put it like in front of my face and I was like, um, and they're like, oh, you ruined my picture. And I'm like, you put your, ca you ruined my drawing. You put your camera in front of my face as I'm trying to do a drawing. I don't care about your picture. If you want to take a picture, back up a few feet. And I, you know, I never raised my voice off my temper or anything. But there's a lot of like things like that, which I deal with occasionally at some jobs. Sometimes it's like nonstop. It wasn't that bad, but it was just more than I would like. Uh, and, and just a lot, and then there was a lot of, I get these like, I and other artists I'm sure get these sort of like fans, which is usually younger kids, um, will just like stay there for like a half hour. Like they got their drawing and then they'll stay there and make comments on every drawing you do, good or bad. It's just like, you know, and then they'll be helping where they're like, oh, don't forget to draw the eyebrows. Hey, this person has a dimple. Yo, you should ask them what kind of hair they want. And it's just like, I tend to try to, after all, I just tune them out. I don't even listen. But then eventually something will happen and we'll be like, you know, hey, hey, I'm like, what are you talking to me? And they'll be like, yeah. And then they get annoyed that I'm not listening to them. So why would I be listening to you? I'm trying to ignore you so I could do my job. And so there was a little bit too much of that. Again, it, I don't want to give the impression it was a terrible job but it was just I think that might have drained me a little bit more than it normally would have because I was it was a non-stop you know go 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 for four hours to get as many done as I possibly could but on top of that there was a little bit of irritation with some of the, the people there um yeah that's it for that I need to work I'm gonna lay on the floor I've been laying on the floor a lot lately and that's fine the floor is good Look at me! I'm up off the floor! <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Okay, so uh, I did 30 to 45 minutes on the Horror A4, page 11, roughs. Let me show you. So what I should have been doing is continuing to work on this panel with the architecture perspective, etc. But I was feeling lazy, so I went boo, 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 boo. Here's Boots talking. Did this, uh, you know, it's alright. 
I'll probably touch it up a little bit in the inks as I've been saying a lot lately. Then I moved over here and this is your uncle, same as up here. And I, yeah, I may or may not revisit this in a rough stage. I'll certainly clean it up in the ink stage, but uh, I realized that I'm kind of redesigning slash finalizing designs for him on the page. And this is something that uh, is not unique to him. I mean, I went through this with Boots and several other characters in the first issue. And even now, there's still permutations, and there's a certain amount of change that's going to happen over time organically. A certain amount of permutation that happens uh, both because artistic style gets refined for a book, because skills grow, uh, because designs get simplified, etc. But there's also uh, the change that happens because maybe I never drew that character in profile. And th this is true of a lot of the designs I do. I do usually just one basic design. Maybe I do a little bit of a turnaround and then go, and especially for the not main characters, secondary, tertiary especially, they get sort of designed as I go along, which is another reason why I like doing multiple passes, because if this was the final pass, I'd have to redraw it 15 times in a row. Instead, I draw it once in the thumbnails, once in sort of the rough pass, then again in the inks, and then, you know, maybe I'll touch it again in the grays. So I have a few different chances along the way as I figure out the character. When I go back, I go, oh, I don't really do that that way anymore. Now, if I was doing it, I guess, more correctly, more efficiently, it would make sense to do more complete character designs, turnarounds, expression sheets, all the stuff that you would do in animation. I feel like you would get a lot out of doing that for a comic. However, it's a balancing act because I can easily spend hours and days and weeks and months doing nothing but what I call pre-production of doing character designs and character designs and, and background designs. And then by the time I finish that third character design, I could fix the first character design. And oh, I got an idea for a new character. And you just go down this rabbit hole of the fun of creation without actually creating anything beyond the first step. It, you know, it reminds me of being in high school. I had a bunch of comic book friends and you know, to varying degrees, we'd always be coming up with new characters and maybe do a pinup and another pinup and then my character fighting their character and then maybe a page or two. And then uh, it's been a month, I got a new character. And it wasn't like we all came out with a hundred comics. It was like, we all came out with a hundred characters because that's the easy fun part. And it's something that's very tempting and very difficult to pull away from. And so I made a calculated decision that my characters might not be as on model as I'd like. They might fluctuate over the course of the books, but it's more important to get the story done. It's more important to get the books done. And, you know, if it's a little bit uneven, so be it. If the rest of the art is quality enough, if the story is engaging enough, it won't matter. It's, you know, kind of like a bad special effect in an old Star Trek show. As long as it's a good story, you could overlook it. And so that's my hope. Um, and if not, well, you know, if the story and everything else is that bad anyway, then the fact that the character's a little off model isn't going to matter either. So, and this isn't an excuse to do subpar work. It's a motivation to complete things. Because once again, finished is better than great, or complete is better than super good. You know what I'm saying. Get it done. More important. Also, I think it's uh, something that's challenging too when you're working on short projects. One book, a 10-page story, you know, a fill-in or something like that. Because if I was going to work on, let's say Marvel hired me to do Spider-Man. Hey, you're going to be the new Spider-Man artist for six months, a year, who knows how long. I can reference characters that have already been designed. Now, I put my own, might put my own personal spin on it, but there's an established legacy of characters, of design choices, of, you know, I don't have to invent things. I maybe will reinvent them a little, refine them, change them to my style tastes, but I don't have to create a world whole cloth. I don't have to create characters whole cloth. And if I do create a new character, a new villain or something, then it's a little fun thing to insert into an already done world. Also, it might be worth, if I, uh, you're being hired to do Spider-Man, I probably would draw a, ske a sketchbook full of Spider-Man and Peter Parker and Mary Jane and all the various characters because I would be drawing those same characters for months and years, every day, in and out. Whereas a lot of smaller books might be one issue, 22 pages. Is it worth filling up a sketchbook full of character designs for that one character that's going to be in one story? I don't think so. Um, it's going to be different for everybody, but this is something I struggle with that I'm forcing myself to continue moving forward on the project instead of continually getting sidetracked working on, again, pre-production or, or perfection or, or things like that. So that's your, your boat of Gazbot thought knowledge. Wisdom? No. Thought knowledge. Thought. Thought. It's just thought, really. It's not even knowledge or wisdom. Opinion? It's opinion! <laughs> strenuously given. Anyway, that's it for today. It's a short one because I'm a tired fart and uh, it's day 67. And if today is day 67, well, then you know what that means. Seems we've got 33 days left.
That's not really what I'm talking about because there's there's. Look at me. It was crazy busy. Um, I'm not even surprised or angry anymore. Um, also, I forgot what I was going to say.